An 89-year-old Philadelphia man named Johann Breyer has been taken into custody after a German arrest warrant charged him with abetting genocide as an Auschwitz camp guard who could be extradited. This isn't the first legal action taken against Breyer. The AP says Breyer has admitted he was a guard at the Auschwitz-Birkenau death camp in occupied Poland during World War II, but has told the Associated Press he was stationed outside the facility and had nothing to do with the wholesale slaughter of 1.5 million Jews and others behind the gates. The German investigation comes after years of failed U.S. efforts to have Breyer stripped of his American citizenship and deported. The New York Times adds, uh, officials said he had worked at the part of the camp known as Auschwitz II, or Birkenau, a section that was particularly notorious. While the Nazis used other parts of Auschwitz for slave labor, the Birkenau section was used exclusively to kill victims in gas chambers. The Times adds that Breyer said his service at Auschwitz was involuntary. Uh, the counter to that is that if indeed he was part of the uh, SS, the nobody was conscripted into the SS until the very late part of the war. And it would seem very difficult to believe his story. But in any case, my opinion or your opinion People's opinion on this doesn't really matter. The fact that he's 89 years old and a lot of time has gone by is not a reason to avoid having an actual trial, figure out what the facts are, figure out all of the details, and then see if a sentence is warranted or not. I really don't believe, Lewis, in this idea that even if the statute of limitations has not expired, if it's if it's been a long time or the person is old, we just let them be. When you can start the judicial process, you start it. If the person dies of old age during it, then then that happens. Right. I think it's certainly worth having a trial uh, when it comes to a sentence. Uh, if you want to jail them, perhaps that's another story. But uh, certainly, let's let's find out what happened and um, give an appropriate, uh, you know, convict the person if if they are guilty. Yeah, there have been a lot of people who emailed me about this story saying just let the guy live out his life in peace. And I, I, on the one hand, I can understand that mentality. An 89 year old guy, he's not going to do anything else to anyone, regardless of what he did during World War II. At the same time, he was able to live most of his life without having the, 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 without being in the circumstances that the people who didn't even make it out of the concentration camps had. So it seems completely counterproductive when you think of it that way to say, well, he already evaded justice for so long. Let's drop all charges altogether. That doesn't strike me as, as correct either. No, no, I, I certainly don't think we should do that.